Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. Today we are solving another lead code problem that is count number of bad pairs in Java. We will break break it down the problem and discuss brute force. Later we will implement an optimized solution with a hash map because brute force won't be that much efficient compared to the solution that I am going to do. Even though I will just explain why brute force is not efficient. So let's dive in. Here is our problem. Here the definition of a bird pair is like it should be i less than j and j minus i not equal to nums of j minus nums of i. Here if you go through this example you can see the pair wise it will be like this so uh, that means the 0 1 is a bad pair since 1 minus 0 1 but 1 minus 4 is minus 3 which is bad like that okay so both are not equal like that we have to write the code so in this the total is 5 that's why we are returning 5 in this one uh, we can do this problem in using the brute force approach like brute force means as you know it's like uh, we are using two loops two uh, means nested loops so while using that the time complexity will exceed like it will be too slow it approximately big of n square uh, as the inputs increase for larger inputs the time complexity will be huge so uh, rather than using traditional methods like brute force or something it's better to switch to hash map and when it comes to space complexity in that one it is big of one because we are not taking any extra space so we can use hash map in order to solve this while using brute force we are we have to check all the elements in that one so while using hash map now i will just explain why i am using hash map rather than brute force so instead of checking all pairs we just need to transform this equation j minus i not equal to this equation means we can rearrange the equation by nums of j minus j that is not equal to nums of i minus i where uh, we have to maintain a frequency map of nums of i minus i and later we have to count good pairs first later we can subtract that from total pairs like we can get the bad pair now we can start with our coding part so first of all i already mentioned we are using hash map now we have our method count bad pairs with the one input array nums so first of all we have to initialize a hash map as well as one counter so let's start map integer integer so i will name it as back new hash map okay so this one will store the frequency of nums of i minus i values now i have to initialize another variable count which will keep track of good pairs so i will use long count to zero then i have to go for go through the array once so we have to use for loop for 
int i to zero i less than nums dot length i plus plus now we are going to do through the nums array so once we get into the loop uh, we have to compute the difference so for that i will use another variable difference equal to as i already mentioned terms of i minus i so this is the transformation we discussed earlier now i need to count existing good pairs so i will update count by uh, the new way like if the difference exists in back it means we have already encountered numbers forming good pairs so let's say back dot get your default diff zero so we are adding their count to our count variable now i need to update the hash map so back dot put diff back dot get to default diff difference zero plus one so here we are increasing the count of difference in back so once we are done with this we have to come out of this loop and we have to compute bad pairs so for that i need another variable to um, get the length of our array so in length equal to nums dot length then we are using one formula that is to get the, get the total number we will use our math method like n into n minus 1 by 2 okay so we are using return 1l star then n minus 1 2 minus count okay here we are subtracting good pairs gives the gives our final count of bad pair now just run it Yeah, it's working so when it comes to time complexity it is taking only big of n because we are using using only one single loop for using spa space complexity we are using big of n because we using hash map <coughs> so submit it <coughs> yes so compared to brute force it is an efficient method which is one optimized standard it's a best choice compared to other approaches so if you found this helpful if you found this explanation and uh, this code useful don't forget to like subscribe and comment this video so see you in next video till that happy coding